Hello there. For many of us, it's been a soggy start to our Saturday, but the weekend will improve if it's dry, sunny weather you're after. But for the time being, we've still got this conveyor belt of wet weather pushing up from the southwest, affecting Wales, the Midlands and northern England. And then that's going to gradually drift its way steadily south and east. So weather warnings remain in force. We've already seen a couple of inches of rainfall. There's another couple potentially across parts of Wales. There could be some localised flooding. There could be some travel disruption as well. This has been the story so far. You can see where the wettest of the weather is. But up into the far north, close to an area of low pressure here, there's a scattering of sharp showers. Some of these falling as sleet and snow to the tops of higher ground. So we keep those showers going into Scotland, but there will be some sunny spells through Scotland and Northern Ireland as well. At the same time, our band of rain slowly drifts its way south and east, so allows for an improving picture across the Midlands for the north of England and Wales by the end of the day. It's going to be a windy afternoon, though gusts of winds in excess of 50 miles an hour on exposed southwest coast for a time. Here we stay in the milder air despite that rain around top temperatures of 16 degrees in the southeast corner. But as cold air starts to win out further north, those temperatures are struggling 7 to 9 degrees at the very best. Now the rain will slip its way off into the near continent through the night. Skies continue to stay clear. Showers continue into the far north. But more importantly, that colder air is going to move its way right across the country. The yellow tones, the mild air pushing off into the near continent. And that means a chilly start as well to our Sunday morning. Low single figures in one or two spots, but noticeably colder for all of us across the country. Bit of good news though, don't forget before you head off to bed tonight to make sure you put the clocks back. We well and truly say goodbye to British summertime. But with an extra hour in bed, once you've opened those curtains, you'll be greeted to some sparkling blue sky and sunshine. Not a bad day. All change, really. Notice it'll be colder, but dry, settled and sunny. But we keep those showers going in the far north. And again, with any elevation, they will be wintry. Highest values of 7 to 13 degrees through Sunday afternoon. And it does look as though this theme is set to continue for our week ahead. Dry and sunny, but cooler.